These two bears are both hybrids. This one here, 50% polar bear, 50% grizzly bear. This one here, 75% grizzly, 25% polar bear. We spoke to a federal scientist who actually saw this one alive 10 years ago while flying over Northern Victoria Island. I've seen thousands of polar bears in, in the field, but when we turned that corner into that bay and saw this kind of creamy colored polar bear with three little chocolate cubs. It just, you almost had to like rub your eyes to make sure you were seeing what you were seeing. We don't have photos of that moment, but Richardson is confident the bear in this photo is the mom he would later see with her cubs. Scientists are using a new genetic sequencing tool to test bears for hybridization. They tested samples from 341 polar bears and 440 grizzly bears from across Canada, Alaska, and Greenland. The only hybrid bears they found in all of those samples, a family of eight bears in the Western Arctic, which they already knew about, a family that these two belong to. It was a bit of a surprise. Scientists thought they would find more. The Western Canadian Arctic is one of the only places where we see grizzly bears crossing into polar bear habitat frequently. Um, it does happen in other places, but it's really much more common in the uh, Western Arctic. And so this is the place where we're thinking we're most likely to see um, hybridization happening. And the fact that we don't see it happening is, is a good indication that it's pretty rare. Those eight bears are also all part of the same family. A biologist who used to work for the NWT government wrote about them in 2017 and developed a family tree. All these hybrid bears originated from one single female polar bear uh, who mated with two different grizzly bears. And then those grizzly bears mated with the offspring and, and kind of that's how we ended up with some of the second generation hybrid bears. So it just seems to be this you know, tightly closed group of bears that sort of seem to have uh, just for whatever reason had a preference for something a little different. The family tree and the corresponding tag numbers are how we know that these bears here at Nature's North Wildlife Gallery in Yellowknife are part of that family. According to NWT government data, this bear's two siblings haven't been hunted. If they're alive, they'd be 10 years old. Lainey Lambrink, CBC News. Yellowknife.